Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use scientific notation on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators and would like to get one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu setup key that looks like this, located here. The exit key, that looks like this, located here. The F2 and F3 keys, that look like this, located here. The negative key, that looks like this, located here. And the times 10 to the X key, that looks like this, located here. Scientific notation is great for easily entering either really large or really small numbers into our calculator. For example, if we wanted to enter in 150,000 into our calculator, we could write it like this, 1.5 times 10 to the power of five. Normally when we enter these numbers in our calculator, they're displayed as written. But if we want to convert them to scientific notation, what we do is we press shift menu key for the setup menu here, and then scroll down until we see display. Typically we're on normal mode two. If we want to convert to scientific notation, we choose F2, SCI for scientific notation mode. It'll then ask us to select the number of display digits between zero and nine. Let's go with two and then hit EXE. And then when we're done, we can hit the exit key. Now we see SCI two at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in scientific notation mode with two visible digits. Now if we enter 150,000, hit EXE, it displays in scientific notation mode, or 1.5 times 10 to the power of five. This also works with really small numbers. So for example, if we had 0 0.0001, and we wanted that in scientific notation, now that we're already in scientific notation mode, we can just enter 0 0.00001, Zero, 01, hit exe, and see that it converts to one times 10 to the power of negative four, which is correct. If we're done using scientific notation and wanna go back to our normal mode, again, we do this with the shift menu key and scroll down to our display option, where we can again choose our display mode. What we were in before was normal mode, and we have the option of choosing normal mode one or normal mode two. If we choose normal mode one, when we enter our large numbers, they're displayed normally as the digits, but if we enter very small numbers, they're still converted to scientific notation. If we don't want any scientific notation and want to go back to our original mode, we use the shift menu, normal mode two, and select that. Now we see norm two at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in normal mode two. And if we enter the large number, we get all the digits. And if we enter the small number, we get all the digits. What if we wanna enter a number directly into scientific notation? Well, that's where we can use the times 10 to the X key. So if we're given, for example, 1.5 times 10 to the power of five, and wanna convert that to normal digits, we can enter it as 1.5, then the times 10 to the X key, and then five, Hit EXE, 
and see that converts it to 150,000 for us. Again, we can do this with the small numbers. If we enter 1 times 10 to the x, and then the negative here, 4, hit exe, we see we get 0 0.0001, which is correct. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.